the AMR 500 supercharger, developed by the Germans, used by the Japanese, and rebuilt by the Chinese, which is not great. More on that later. So I was researching power adders for my 1990 Plymouth Sundance with the Chrysler 2.2 liter, and I stumbled across the AMR 500 supercharger, advertised on eBay to be good to 2.2 liters and adds 10 to 30% more horsepower. And I thought, yeah, that, that might be kind of cool, a little experiment to do. So I ordered one and installed it. This is how that went. Okay, so first thing I see for mounting is these gotta go. Well, it's done, it should have clearance now. My engine bay is filthy and my shop smells like ass. I hate cutting aluminum. So what I'm looking at right now, is I put this piece of angle grinder onto the old AC bracket. This will sit like so. And I'll weld some sheet metal there to bolt the lower mounts on. And after that, I need some sort of reinforcement for the top mount to go through here. Probably something that goes from here over across. So I put this bar here trying to reinforce it, but it's still a little bit crooked. So I'm gonna have to triangulate it from here to here to try to make it a little bit more rigid because right now it's still kind of loose. So. Got it reinforced here, triangulated. Dark out now, took me all day to do that. Gotta cut some holes in areas to get the charge pipe over to the intake, so bumper's gotta come off. The next day. The bumper is off. Need to cut a hole here and another hole here. Let's put the intercooler on. All right, been working at this for a while. Got my holes cut. Put some rubber trim on it because I'm that high class. And did all the piping, got it to the throttle body to the supercharger. Haven't done the intake yet. Basically just been plumbing for the past two and a half hours. Pretty boring stuff. At this point I put the finishing touches on along with a blow-off valve and it sounded good. So then it was time to do the comparison. So I went to an eighth mile drag strip and did a run before and after the supercharger. And for those who are wondering, as for tuning, I'm running Mega Squirt 2, and the air fuel ratio was a solid 13 to 1 throughout both tests. slower. The supercharger just can't blow enough air. It's actually causing a restriction at full throttle and making the car slower rather than faster. The maximum RPM for this thing is like 16 grand and I'm spinning it at uh... All right, let's see. Got it. Okay, so crank pulley is about seven inches. Supercharger is about three inches and it's about 14,000 RPM. So at the engine's red line, we're spinning it at 14,000 RPM. Now the supposed limit for RPM on these things is about 16 grand, and I could make it spin a little bit faster by putting a smaller pulley on it. However, that would not make a big enough difference to actually make any boost. Not to mention I smelled burning gear oil out of the exhaust pipe. So I took the intake off and it was full of fluid. So my quote unquote, Brand new rebuilt supercharger leaks right out of the box. Great. Now I'm not trying to say that there's not a use for these superchargers. VW guys seem to like them a lot. And if you can make it work with your engine, great. Um, but the biggest issue is false advertising. I mean, two liters or 2.2 liters, however much they're saying this thing is good for. It's just not true, as I've proven here today. Um, I'd say the biggest engine that I would put one of these on is maybe a 1.6 liter. 
But anything bigger than that is just a huge waste of time. I'd say if there's a lesson to be learned here, it's that turbos are better.